Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV Jess Hilarious, Charlemagne the Guy. We are the Breakfast Club. We got a special guest in the building. A Live slut. The what? <laughs> Henley, what? We got a slut in the building. Jesus the Christ. Slut. The biggest slut. Jesus. Henley Chopper, ladies <laughs> and gentlemen. Slut in the What's up? Oh, my God. Why you say the biggest slut? You got to call him the biggest what slut. What you mean? After oh, his no, name is Mixtape and Slut Me Out. He got the slut season tour. What are you talking about? Yeah. Well, say his name first, then call him a slut. Henley Chopper. <laughs> mama, Ma, on, I got the shirt now. on, no, that slut no. me out. Slut me yeah. Ma. No. <laughs> <laughs> how you got your mama wearing the slut me out shirt? Right, how you think I got her? Yeah. Yeah. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Yeah. Shit. Now it's my slut. Some period. It's my mama. Love her, life. Okay. Oh, man. <laughs> you got a point. You ain't wrong when you're right. <laughs> yeah. well, how you feeling, brother? Man, I feel good as hell. I ain't gonna lie. Mm -hmm. Good. I feel like a, a damn blossom flower or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where your face at, you at? With my who? Your face tattoo. What face tattoo? Oh, uh, okay. Your yeah, face too pretty for me. I ain't gonna lie. So you play, you play a lot, yo. You go viral almost every fucking day. Like, I be, I be telling people I sneeze, I'm gonna go viral. Mm. Every yeah, time, it's just, you feel me? It's mm. just, it's just destined. Yeah. People what was just the reason? Why, see me. Why'd you do the, the, the fake Krishan Rock tattoo? You? Man, I was just plucking. That's something we call it, Memphis plucking. Just playing around, just yeah. fucking with y'all. Who was you plucking at? Somebody in particular or just... Man, you know how people just believe in anything. Yeah, just, yeah, yeah, you yeah, feel yeah. me? You mm -hmm. throw the song in there with it, they believe in everything. You got three million people just saw your song. Mm -hmm. It's that simple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, Con yeah. Congrats on the new record, too, man. I saw the video you just posted where you was like, they thought it wasn't going to work. They man. thought it wasn't going to work. <laughs> man, what? They do me like that every time. It's like yeah. every time I preview something, they'll be like, that shit like but then that shit be it. it. Work. I yep. get a plaque every time. Yep. I thought the song was just a very positive song full of a, full of affirmations. I ain't it. That's what I took it at. <laughs> That's a black king right there. <laughs> if I was a bad bitch, I'd want to fuck me too. I'd want to suck me too. I'd want to slut me too. If I was a bad bitch, I'd want to hump me too. Feel I'd want to trap me too. Nothing freaky that I wouldn't do to me. If you're going to do the lyrics, you got to do the dance. Hey, I was going to say, no, no, please If you're going to do the lyrics, you got to do the dance. You got to do the dance. Come on. Okay, okay. What's in that? Hey. 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 <laughs> yeah, just model off, you feel me? Just get okay. in there, motherfucker. <laughs> feel me? Tell me about the record. How the idea came to you? Was you looking in the mirror naked? Was you jacking off in the mirror? Man. Man. Jesus man. Christ. Man. That's Jesus. a question. <laughs> you know what? Jess, can you ask Jess, me a question? Yeah. 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 How, how did the record come about? Was you looking in the mirror? Was you jacking off? Was you <laughs> <doing that>? Damn. <laughs> you want to be honest? <laughs> yeah, shit, I was thinking about you. Oh, okay. No, I'm fucking with you. I'm fucking I know. With you. God, <laughs> damn. Now let's stop. <laughs> how did it I, come about? Nah, it came about so. What happened was, I was in the car, right? And I was just, it was after my show, and I was just looking at myself. And I was just scrolling through my phone, just looking at the month I had. And you know, my, I be on my little mirror selfie shit sometimes, feel me? After I do some push-ups or something, I just look in the mirror, I be like, damn, feel me? I take a little quick pic or whatever. Mm -hmm. So I must went and looked at some of the pictures I was taking over the month. I said, damn. I just said it out loud, I really just thinking out loud. I said, bro, if I was a bad bitch, I'd fuck me too. Mm. And I said it, and then when I heard it, I, when I heard my voice say it, I said, damn, that's a song. That's they, right I there. think one of them was in the car with me. I said, I got to write that down. I wrote that down in my notes. Three days later, I heard a beat. And it was the beat that y'all heard now with mm -hmm. the song. And I was like, damn, that shit go perfect. I said, I got to come first bar. If I was a bad bitch, I want to fuck me too. That mm. shit a caption. Yeah. Yeah. Who's in the car mm -hmm. with you? It is. Oh, uh, it was me. It was just the guys. It was just the guys. What did y'all think when y'all heard him say that before y'all knew it was a song? When he just said it out loud. <laughs> That must have been hey, how I looked down. Bell, Bell, you was in that one. <laughs> it was interesting. This is like a grabber. Yes, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> it was interesting. It's a grabber. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. right. Because people, you only got a few seconds to catch their ear to be like, okay. Yeah. First bar, you going to tune them in. Mm -hmm. If I was a bad bitch, I want to fool me too. I feel like you were challenging like, the views on the way people, you know, you challenging people's views on masculinity in a lot of ways. Mm -hmm. Man, I feel like on the real, when was masculinity ever just mm -hmm. and just you 24 feel me? seven masculinity? Yeah. If you mm -hmm. want to be a hundred, masculinity masculinity is the power of doing. Like if you really break down the essence of masculine and feminine, feminine energy is receiving, attracting. Mm -hmm. Masculine is doing. Feel me? That's mm -hmm. the real. That's the real. Mm -hmm. But I mean, like, now masculine, when people think masculine, they think of muscle and just that's right. power. Yeah, and that's, right. that's not what that really is. You're supposed to be able to know how to be powerful, playful, joyful, yeah. 
and keep all these different elements of you as a mm -hmm. kid. Because as a kid, you would play all day until a motherfucker down there stepped on your shoe the wrong way. Now y'all fighting. Mm -hmm. You feel me? That's how that shit was. But mm -hmm. as kids, we was always happy until it got to the point to where we won. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But now it's like, mm -hmm. Everybody brainwashing motherfuckers to be mad and on ten toes mm. and on mm. ten all the time, then get happy. I don't know, cause it's just backwards to me. But it switched a little bit that though. Narrative. It switched a little bit in the industry, cause it's confusing now, right, to these kids. Cause what we grew up on is is women wear purses and, and they carry purses, but now yeah. men carry purses. I'm gonna be honest though, like. I've been seeing like men doing these type things. Like if you go back to the 70s, man, these men had they hurt on them more than no, that's women true. sometimes. That's true. That's true. Oh, that just... They was really, but when nobody's saying like, oh, they gay or they doing this, they that, you feel me? Or they less of a man. Like, you feel me? I use prime examples like MC Hammer. Like he was a dancing nigga, but like, I ain't gonna lie, when nobody fuck with MC Hammer. Oh, MC Hammer fuck you up. We used to love MC Hammer. No, I'm talking about no, that no, one. He's saying, like, in the street. Oh, yeah, MC Hammer oh, beat no, the no. shit out of yeah, yeah, him. beat the shit oh, out of yeah, 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 Immediately. Yeah, 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 yeah. You feel me? So it's just like, when do we get so so gangsterized to where motherfuckers can't? Because I ain't going to lie, I'm, I'm very in tune with kids that's growing up in my city of Memphis. Mm -hmm. And I'm very in tune with a lot of people I've lost mm -hmm. to the street life shit. And now that I'm realizing, I'm like, cuz, like, what is we really doing? What mm -hmm. is What is the point? Of being so heavily like just gangster fire walking around here because the niggas I know they they serving life sentences and they That's dying. Right. Like the last funeral I went to, I was just sitting there, I ain't crying nothing. I was just looking at the casket mm -hmm. and God was just talking to me. He was like, How many more of these I gotta bring you to before you kinda just start to get away from this entity? And it, it, at one period of time you was like, I can't wait to his message, I can't wait till his music start yeah, aligning message. with his yeah. message. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And like, that's how I always sat on the back of my mind, mm -hmm. you know, and that's just something I want to start getting into. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm still get on some G mm -hmm. shit sometime. Mm -hmm. But like, it's a good balance to be able to show people like, this ain't all of what God just put into me to mm -hmm. just be a hard ass nigga all day. And this record is a self love record. That's exactly So what it's it kind of weird to see people mad at a man for loving himself. On me. Mm -hmm. because, you want to know something, though? Mm -hmm. It's because, like, in our community, I feel like it's it's un, unintentional. It's unconsciously. A lot of a lot of, a lot lot of of people are gravitated to the most, to the less confident person. Mm -hmm. So when they peep someone that's not as confident in themselves, it's easier to manipulate and control that person. Mm -hmm. But when you see a motherfucker that's going to wake up, you nagging on them, you're going to look at them. Bitch, I'm gonna do me. Mm -hmm. and, and you gonna keep that shit pushing and keep that shit walking. Mm -hmm. You can't manipulate or control that person. So now it makes you uncomfortable. It mm -hmm. bring out your insecurity. Yeah. So you feel me? That's how this shit be. But I see your <laughs> music has changed when you first came out, which I think is great because like he said, is is I think you realizing the effects you have on the youth and how many fans you have. Right. What my prime example was like I it was it was a point of time where Kids with I FaceTime people kids mm -hmm. and the first thing they'll do like they'll bring like a toy gun in the camera and like Dang. like hey yeah. look I got one of these mm -hmm. like as if like it'll impress me mm -hmm. and I'm looking like I'm like damn that nigga fucked up <laughs> like yeah, yeah. like that's the first thing you want to show me and um ever since then I kind of started being more conscious but I also peep the amount of people that's not streaming my music in the hood which makes me feel like God gives me that opportunity to still want to be able to perform or make this type of music just in moderation because it's motherfuckers that like to go to the gym and listen to my shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's motherfuckers, it's, I got white people overseas that just like to jump up and down on my shit. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I'm just conscious of everything, but. Why I mean, is it so important to make sure that your parents are involved? My protection, you feel me? You so, that. she, 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 why, my mom, my, my deuce over there, my child, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, mom. I love her. I love seeing her. Yeah, you know I, I, mean? I, love, I love seeing y'all together. You yeah. Do not Absolutely. move. What I was, mom. You ain't gonna hear one of them stories from me. Yeah. Feel me? Nobody playing with my bread. Nobody playing none of that stuff because you feel me. I just got the right people around me. I don't surround myself around people. I feel like that's just not meant to be on that journey. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, we got discernment. I'll pray to the Most High. We very guiding and protecting in that space, but. She, you know, it's good to have people around you that just got your best interest. Yeah. And now, what about this picture with you recreating Tupac, man? What did John say? What did John say? I don't know what it say, but it's just you in the tub. <laughs> he going lower them glasses like that. Yeah, the picture with you in the tub with Pac. Yes. 
Oh, did I? Mm-hmm. No, I'm oh, that's not <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man, I ain't gonna lie, that shit iconic though. And you did that for your duck to, re- to, to, to promote your duck boot. Yeah, the duck boot. So he, got, he got him with you. Let's let's yeah. let's, let's let's pull him out. Let's what are you, you talking boots. about? It pause. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Yes, look at them. But why why the Tupac uh, pictures to to promote them? I mean, it was sl- it's slut season, baby. Yeah, it's slut season. Mm. So you said Pac was a slut? Yeah. I mean, he was a slut at times. He was a poetic slut. He was a poetic. <laughs> he was a poetic <laughs> slut. Yes. He was an. Y'all been playing with Pac all week now. <laughs> <laughs> <Hold it up. laughs> <I'm not. Okay. laughs> but if you think about it, though, that was that was my that was my whole agenda with it because I feel like a lot of people had Pac misconstrued. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Feel me? A lot of people just feel like Pac mm-hmm. just wanted to promote a thug image all day, but he was really more than a thug. But a lot of people in our community just don't appreciate that other part of them because it's harder to be that person. Yeah. No, we it's appreci- easy to get a gun. No, we appreciate it. I think with Pac, man, what, what, the, what Pac shows me all the time is like you can't lead, you can't lead two lives. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Eventually, eventually, the negative life will catch up to you. Yeah. You know what I mean? But but like you you see how you peep it. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of people that don't got that mindset to peep mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So that's that's why I did that. I did it because it's a lot of people that only felt the vibration of negativity from Tupac, mm-hmm. but they never felt that self. To me, him being in that tub is is a confident version of himself. Yeah. He yeah. loves himself. He's not insecure to get in that motherfucker, and he know who the audience was he was targeting, mm-hmm. and that's all that really matter to me. But I did it simply because. A lot of people ain't seen that. A lot of niggas ain't seen that picture. Mm-hmm. Your generation, niggas. for a sure. Lot of, a lot haven't seen that picture. Mm-hmm. But why the duck boots? Other than to promote them. You say what? Why the duck boots, though? Like, why that picture specifically for duck boots? Man. That's the only thing you're wearing. I, I mean, mean, you can only pay attention I mean, to the why boots. why not? And you can try to peep through the jewelry if you're a woman. Yeah. But, a lot um, less jewelry than Pac <laughs> had, though. The boots. A lot less jewelry than Pac had. Pac, <laughs> Pac needed more to cover up, NLE. <laughs> What you trying to say? Like, that should be something that she has. This guy blew up the picture. Now. What's wrong with you? These are his real feelings. Man, zooming in. This <laughs> yes. Why would you want to come out with duck boots, though? Man, ownership. Own, mm. Ownership, bro. That's, it's my hey, shoe. Speak that. Okay. Yes, sir. We got, I, I got a lace shower with a pair. Oh, yeah. What made y'all do that? Yeah. And, what's, and where can people buy them if they want them? Uh, yeah. So, factorylab.com. Mm-hmm. If C T R Y Lab.com mm-hmm. or factory.com. One of those. Uh, if you just tune in on my socials, you will see mm-hmm. it'll be out like May 9th. That's when we dropping it. But until then, I'm gonna just be wearing it in the meantime. You can just go to my socials. But real dope shoe. I feel like the most important part about like, it is um the post that really that really struck everybody's attention was like I spent five years thinking an endorsement deal was just gonna drop out the sky for me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I had to realize, I had to be, first take accountability of how I first came out. Like I came mm-hmm. out real gun heavy mm-hmm. to where like, I probably pushed a lot of brands away and they was kind of scared to mess with me. Mm-hmm. And you know, over five years during that time period, I'm like, man, why I don't have this? Why I do not have this endorsement or that or whatever? So it, it made me self reflect, work on myself, clean my image. And then it still kind of didn't come. And I was like, you know what? God probably want me to not take a check, but create something to where I can write the check for yeah, other people. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. you know, just taking the ownership route, that's how I took it. And uh, yeah, man, we here. But why a duck boot, though? Like, what, do, what does that signify to you? So duck boots, mm-hmm. uh, if you just look up the origin of a duck, like, I like to look at spiritual meanings of everything. Mm-hmm. Like, whenever I see some, I'm type nigga like Google, okay, what's the spiritual meaning of it? Because... God, you know, he makes no mistakes with nature. Mm-hmm. Every every animal, every insect, I mean, insect. insect. <laughs> <laughs> every animal, insect, all these different things, the way the wind blow, rain, sleet, snow, water, all these different things have a spiritual meaning, a mm-hmm. spiritual definition to it. And yeah. Ducks just mean good omen, blessings in abundance, mm-hmm. and it also means fertility because you always see ducks with their kids, yeah. with the other ducks, oh, you feel me? So... It's just a good omen. When I heard it, you know, uh, shout out Omar. Omar, he he's actually the um the guy that helped um bring all the ideas for Yeta Life with Yeezy. Mm-hmm. So you know, um, Omar he designed this boot, and um, feel me, it just fitted me. 
And this is what we doing. How do you style? How do you style uh, yourself with that on? Like, what would you suggest people wear with that? Man, like some heavy, like oversized, like baggy, because mm -hmm. it, it it's gonna look right when it sit like, cause it's kind of wide right here. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So it's kind of like a a big boot. So. I feel like the clothes you will wear with it got to be kind of heavy and stocked up. Like, I got a lot of fresh-ass fits with it. Like, yeah. you can really wear it with anything. I got shorts with it. I wore some shorts with it, some um, baggy. I even wore some skinnies with it yesterday, and it worked for me. Mm -hmm. Like, it's a universal boot for real. Yeah. yeah. I'm really um, I'm really proud of, you know, what we came up with. Like, this shit, I feel like it's next level. And the shoe game kind of dry right now. We need another shoe to really yeah. run the course, you feel me? Is well, there money still in music? Oh, you gotta go to products and man, it's it's a lot of money in music, but mm -hmm. I take it like this, bro. Ain't nothing wrong with uh, what they call that, mama? Diversifying? Nah, 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 nah. Said mom. Um, damn, what's that junk called? Residual, Residual income. income right? ain't, mm -hmm. ain't nothing wrong with that. You mm -hmm. feel me? That's what yeah. make the billionaires. Right? Yeah. Music ain't gonna pay the bills all the time, mm -hmm. but music, yeah, music gonna get that bread though. Like, don't get mm -hmm. me wrong, but. You know, I just take the NBA player route. They get a contract and they only spend like they endorsement money. That's right. Yeah. Do that, do shit like that. But music play good. Shit, I'm really like one of the youngest and the only artists that really sell records like at my age, like mm -hmm. at my stamp. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So. And you got this tour, man. But I see, ain't no New York dates on it. And and is that because you are also a special guest on a Boogie's tour? Is yeah, that why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so you, yeah, we're gonna pop. I'm gonna see y'all there. Mm -hmm. I know, but what if like somebody like me want the whole show in New York, but I gotta just see you as a hey, special guest at Eight Boogies? I ain't gonna lie, you want me to be a hundred? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, like. This what have you been being this, this whole time? I'm, I've been being like when people 90, say ninety. Let me be honest. Ninety nine. We've been here for thirty minutes already. Right. Like, <laughs> I've been being about ninety nine. Okay, nine, yeah, nine, yeah. Nine. be a hundred with me now about this. But I ain't gonna lie, like don't ever. Don't ever not appreciate the appetizer. Oh, ooh. you feel me? Cause the appetizer be like, okay, I want to see more. Yeah. Feel me? So if I come out there and just do my shit for like 30, 20 minutes, mm -hmm. pop my shit, you gonna be like, damn. You yeah. feel me? And you will want it make you more intrigued to go see the rest of the show. But yeah. I mean, like a, a, a NLE chopper show all the way through. Yeah, it's like a real experience. Like mm -hmm. for real. Like I'm. It's just, it's, it's next level. Y'all gotta see mm -hmm. it. So basically, we only gonna get a, a taste of this. So I'm a, a, you gonna make me go get tickets from somewhere else. Yeah. So I can get the main course. I yeah. just gotta get the appetizer. <laughs> it's still yeah. gonna be fun, though. It's All still right, gonna be right. fun as hell. I got you. No, I know mm -hmm. it is. I didn't even cool. know you could do that. I thought that was illegal to be on two different tours at the same time. For real? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's whatever no. you negotiate. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't gonna negotiate it rap, rap, hip hop is like the most free freedom. Freedom sports you can play. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Feel me? You could be free. You can do all type shit. But the festivals you can make wake you sometimes up, say what do you it, want. Though, right? Yeah. Huh? The festivals make you do that sometimes, right? The festival they, they don't want you to do something in a thirty mile radius. The festival. Yeah, 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 yeah that'll happen sometimes with mm -hmm. festivals for mm -hmm. sure. You can't do. They will say some shit like you can't have an after party or some shit. Or, mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. A little different shit like that. Are you still having fun though? Right. Really? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Can't tell. I'm celibate right now though, so I can't have too much fun. You you ain't I'm having fun. For real. I'm celibate. Ramadan had Ramadan pushed me mm. to be a little bit more uh, just disciplined with my energy. That's mm. why I like participating. Like I don't, I don't have a religion. I just believe in God and karma and mm. prayer and you know doing good to people and getting it back. But I do like to take from different religions mm. and apply them to my life. Mm. And um, yeah. when when I when Ramadan came around, I did a Ramadan fast. I was eating fruit all through the day. And then I eat a meal at night. You're not supposed to eat no fruit. Mm. I know, but I made it. I did it my own. I did it like my own way. Got you. But I was participating with them. Mm -hmm. You feel yeah. me? But you know what I'm saying? And in the midst of that, God speaks to you. He brings a lot of clarity to you. And he was just telling me, like, where well, I'm taking you, you need to preserve a lot of the energy you would normally give out. So mm -hmm. I just been, I really just been with self for That's why y'all heard that if I was a bad bitch. Yeah. When the last time you got some cheeks? Yeah. Uh -huh. Last time you had some cheeks. Wow, Jesus I've been going two months strong. Two months strong. Wow. Yeah, yeah, about two months strong. If we include like uh this month ain't over yet, but a month. I did the whole March and like this month. Mm -hmm. So I'm finished this How month. How long you strong. doing? I'm just going. Like I think it's I think God is positioning me for a whole Lifestyle change, I like so this. it might be not like it. I don't think it's like a thing of like how long I'm going. It's more so like something I just gotta adjust to and like um 
Time can like grow up into mm-hmm. it's it's hard though, cuz like, I ain't gonna lie, cuz I love women, feel mm-hmm. me? I just love women, mm-hmm. boy. Temptation is crazy, ain't man, it? What mm-hmm. cuz the garden of eating <laughs> everywhere? <laughs> the garden of eating is everywhere. Did you set your intention though? You, you say to yourself, I want me a good woman, so in order to get me a good woman, I gotta be the man I, I think this woman would deserve. Is, is, is it something like that? No, I don't really want, I don't really want no woman like that, but I mm-hmm. do. Clarify that. Yeah, clarify that night right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm talking. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. 2024. Like I work better solo. Okay. okay I work okay. better. Like I work better focused. Mm-hmm. If that makes sense. But you feel me? I do have. I do have like women in my life to where I don't need sex from them. Mm-hmm. But they just good women to where like in the, in in my eyes they could be. You know what I'm saying? In a sense of a wife. Mm-hmm. But like not like I want a wife. You get yeah. me? But it's like God kind of already ordered motherfuckers that I got to be around. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's just like you just got to accept it. Yeah. That's like the stage I'm in. But I ain't just looking for nothing. I'm just more so just going with the flow yeah. of mm-hmm. my order steps. Now, this is one of those mm-hmm. times where people will say, Annalie Chopper's contradicting himself because he's celibate, but he out here on the slut season tour. Yeah. I mean, why not? Mm-hmm. I mean, I think it's the perfect example to show people how you can be a slut but still in tune with yourself. Mm-hmm. I mean, like, I could promote sex, but at the end of the day, they're going to be like, damn, he's celibate doing it. Yeah. It's going to make you down there look in the mirror. Because if he can do all this, like, I'm around a lot of pussy, Charlamagne. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm around bad <laughs> shit every day. <laughs> mm-hmm. like, I'm around a lot of pussy, I'm, I'm around a lot of bad <laughs> shit, man. Like, feel me? And to, to be able to <laughs> be one and mm-hmm. not, you know, indulge and want, want to bite, I feel like it's showing a lot of my discipline. Like, I really be patting myself on the back because I ain't gonna lie, the thing about God is God don't make no mistakes. Man. I feel like, shit, in the Bible, they say how Jesus had to walk through prostitutes. Mary so, Magdalene. You feel me? If you're gonna be someone of influence, God gotta be able to take you anywhere and you're gonna still have to be able to show your discipline. Yeah. Like, I can go to the red light district in Amsterdam where pussy is everywhere. You feel me? Like, you just gotta know how to. Block it out. Yeah. You getting head? No. So Interviews are don't so lie, crazy don't lie, these days, aren't they? I seem to retain myself, though. <laughs> you seen it? You see, I <laughs> seem to retain. Like, I, okay. see me, I play with myself, but don't don't bust it. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. You, like, yeah. like, why? Men should <laughs> not say they play with themselves, man. <laughs> say you like, jack yo, off like a goddamn man. It's <laughs> <laughs> oh, wild. It. My, I gotta I do something. Myself. I know. <laughs> I gotta play. You feel me? I gotta know. Like I said, my baby, I want to fuck what's me too. What's the point of that, myself. What you mean? Like, what's the point? I, I, I hear people say the semen retention, and I understand the energy factor and all of it, but why even take your mind there if you're not going to ejaculate? Like, why just go read a book or something? Like, Jesus. Reading the books is way more boring than, you know what I'm saying, yeah. than that. You're trying to see if you can bust off, but not bust off. Yeah, you know, like, you feel me? Like, that's exciting, huh? It is. Yeah. And it's, it got benefits <laughs> to it. It's just like drinking water every day. day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And a bit of stamina, all of that type stamina of stuff. Stamina help your muscles. Discipline. Mm-hmm. Just think your life force going in your blood, in your bloodstream. You feel me? It's going all through the body, kudalini energy. It's going up through the spine up here. You got your kids in your head. Mm. I don't know what the mm. fuck you talking about. Jesus. But I have okay. no idea what this man He'll is talking about. It'll make you think, right though. It'll be like, hey, <laughs> she, she, she sounds she, good. Like, yeah, what? Yeah. yeah. You feel like you think. I see, I, see, I'm all into <laughs> brothers having conversations. There's certain conversations I just don't want to have, though. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to have a conversation. I'm, I'm not saying he's wrong. I'm just saying it's an education. I almost get there and I chill. It's an education. And I got on my head. Yeah. And you do like to read. Don't act like you don't like to read. I ain't going to lie. I, I, Me personally, I do not like to read, but I do like to listen to audios. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, I, can't, I like that, like, too. My, 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 I, I move too much, like, to sit down mm-hmm. and just stay still mm. read. Yeah. Hey, uh, but I you educating dead. yourself, because every time we talk to you, I can tell, like, okay, he's learned something new. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got so much knowledge. Like, mm-hmm. they need to put me on that TED Talk shit. Mm-hmm. For real. What would it be about? My I'll type shit. Celibacy, slit season, the duck boot, mm-hmm. <laughs> all type shit. I wouldn't mind seeing you do a, a TED talk about self love. Yeah. yeah. That'd be good right oh, now. Oh, yeah. I would. Where they at? Where Ted at? Tell <laughs> <laughs> my that bring Jesus. me through there. Jesus. <laughs> I'll pull up, no cap. Slut season tour. Are you doing an album? An album. Yeah, I'm working on like okay. a lot of albums right now. I don't know what be wrong with me. 
I wake up, do some shit here, and then wake up, do some shit there. Mm -hmm. And like, I think the pieces is gonna make sense a little later on in mm -hmm. life. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. so you don't feel the need because you got a song that's moving to run behind it and do a whole like, just put an album with it. My right, shit, fuck around, Mike. Yeah, Why yeah. Why'd you do that? With Slut Season album mm -hmm. for the summer? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I had a song in my head, I might do that though. That, that's a good. That's you a had good a song look. in your head? Yeah, I had a song in my head. Well, something you just made up or one that you already made? Some shit I got on the way. Mm. What is it? <laughs> just 2P, you gonna have to find out. Mm -hmm. No cow, 2P. Mama, get him out of here. Never let the left hand <laughs> on the right hand, though. <laughs> left hand on the right hey, hand. No, I'm going to say it's out now. It's duck poop. And I'll be chopping, ladies and gentlemen. You go to Factory Lab, right? Factory Lab, that's yeah. right. F C T R Y. Factory without an A. Just go to factory.com. That's right. Yeah. Yes, we appreciate you joining Always us. Always a pleasure when you pull up, my Can brother. Let me see. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. want to throw it. This no. shit heavy. I know. That's how you know. You got to catch it, bro. Catch it. Oh, all right. That quality up in and there. And I like this box. Why you? Why the box so big? And what is that? What is the design? So mm. I like this box. <laughs> I like this box. Oh, shit. That's why a duck box foot. so big? Yeah, it's a duck foot. You couldn't duck tell? Foot. Yeah. Oh, feel me? It's dope. Quite quiet. Feel me? You own any ducks in real life? Do I own a duck? Yeah. Hey, I own a duck. Is a duck an animal? Them hoes is a duck an animal. A duck is an animal. Damn, man. You should shut the fuck up. Is a duck an animal? Is a duck a pet? I've never seen a duck a pet. Is a duck an animal? Shut the fuck up. It's an elite chopper, man. It's an elite chopper. You said that we get, you said we get a pair. That, that's not your you size. Mean, I'm <laughs> serious. You I said we get a pair. Well, you turned it into like an old these. Memphis Shaggy Daddy right before our eyes, eyes, man. They back. They back. <laughs> they back. Two fifty. I fuck with you. No, I, I, buy them. I don't care, but I love. I like this. Right. For real. <laughs> Shit, I, 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 I don't. Oh. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. And that's the thing too. Like, I can't wait. I can't wait to see. I can't wait to see them on women because yeah, y'all feet be so small and shit. Just imagine like the little small. Like what size is that? This like a ten. In a minute, okay. Yeah, all right. You know, that way six in youth and kids. So, the fuck would that be? And then you wear with like some little heavy, little sweat. You know what I'm saying? Type you know, shit. already got the sweat. You already know. I, I gotta get your size. You know. We're we gonna get sizes. Right, okay, yeah, right, okay. Double. Cool. <laughs> right. Nice. Right. the Wait. breakfast yeah, I don't need them, but thank you. <laughs> it's NLE <Italy> Chopper. <laughs> it's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.